and gigs, we keep it real, no doubt. From the couch to your screen with a word of mouth, anime, movies, TV, we got the scoop. Join the review crew, come and be part of the loop. Welcome to TacosAndGeeks.com Reviews. Justin and Sean here, and today we're going to be reviewing Rick and Morty, the anime. Thank you to Adult Swim and Warner Brothers for the screener. As always, we give you a brief synopsis of episode one. So without further ado, here we go. Morty falls in love with a new girl, and the Galactic Federation goes after Rick and his mysterious device. Now, Sean is the more Rick and Morty fan out of the two. I only watched a couple of episodes, so I'm not really fully versed as Sean is. But I did find this to be, I don't know, confusing. Um, and, and I... I felt like the story was all over the place. Like there was so much subplots happening in this particular episode where it, I had to watch it multiple times to just kind of get a grasp of what was trying to be told here. Sean, did you kind of feel the same way? Well, so, all right. Yes, I do. To anybody who knows, I watch Rick and Morty religiously ever since I got into it. And I actually got into it after it took its... I saw, when it first came out, I saw the first few episodes. I was like, all right, this is all right. But I really got into it when it when the seasons went to streaming service and right before, right after they had their hiatus. Because remember, Rick and Morty were was out for like two to three years in between season two and season three. Um, so ever since then, I've been into Rick and Morty, watching it religiously. Shout out to Adult Swim and Warner Brothers for sending me the DVDs whenever they come out so I can review them. But, you know, with all the extras and everything with it. Uh, one thing about this is that it has to be another timeline because the Galactic Federation, I think, was destroyed at the beginning of season three uh, when they captured Rick and he tried to go into his mind and they wanted to find out his formula for uh, portal travel. So, seeing this now, it was a bit confusing. To anybody who's never watched Rick and Morty, this will probably be hella confusing. So, what you have to understand is these, you know, Rick and Morty jump in between timelines. And if you know, like, they're documented by numbers. So, the Rick and Morty that we're following now, actually, the Rick that you're following isn't the original Rick. And the Morty, and that's the Morty from the different timeline. Anybody who saw the the Cronenberg episode knows that they're from a completely different timeline. So it's not weird to a fan to watch it and see a different timeline as something that's coming up because we do know uh, Rick jumps in between timelines. I mean, ultimately, the first five or six seasons was about him trying to find the original Rick that caused everything. Um but with this, it was, I don't know whether it's the way the story was told. It gets a little confusing. You have Space Bet there. Summer is somehow linked into this, doing everything for Rick. Um, Morty is trapped in a virtual reality game. Not trapped, but I mean, we all know that actually happened in an episode. I forgot what season that was. Where Morty's consciousness was trapped in there. But with this one, it seems like Morty willingly is in this, and in this, he's jumping between time streams. And I will say this, for the casual fan, this will be a little confusing. For the more seasoned fan, we get it, but it's still like, okay, I have to watch more episodes because as we all know, with Rick and Morty, it's always like misdirection. It seems one way when it starts and it goes an entirely different direction later and it is brilliant. So... In my opinion, like when you watch this, keep an open mind when you first start watching this because it's going to be very confusing. And it's actually, the animation is very different. The dialogue seems very different. This is like complete, like... Complete anim anime. Yeah, it's complete and utter anime. So um, that's about it. I'm going with it. Well, for me, uh, for someone who doesn't really watch the show, not really familiar with the verse, I did enjoy... What I watched, I just knew. I just wish there was a little bit of it. I mean, this is a completely new universe. I mean, just reading the synopsis over, it looks like it is completely separate from what they were doing with the show. 
Um, but I did like the anime aesthetics. It does keep kind of a similar art style, at least with the character designs. Uh, you can see Morty's eyes are a little bit more bigger, like a more anime-ish type style. So is Rick's design and uh, um, um, Rick's daughter. But the, aesthetically, it, it looked like it was definitely an interpretation of what would be Rick and Morty if it was an anime. So for that, they did succeed. They didn't stray too away. This is not like a production IG type of production that you're used to seeing on anime on various things like on Crunchyroll or High Dive. This is basically taking a similar art style of what Rick and Morty is and giving it just some tweaks to make it more of that Japanese style aesthetics and feel. And that, I thought that uh, they did a very good job when it comes to that to really capturing yeah, that, 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 ki- yeah. that kind of heart of the uh, of what it means to be like in an anime. As far as the story structure goes, it is completely pure anime because even in anime you have things that are just happening all at once. And then sometimes you have your A plot, your B plot. You see plot and certain things just are just so jumbled. I, I think they went from A to Z yeah. on this one. <laughs> yeah. That's how crazy it is. And so. there's multiple Mortys in here. And you're just yeah. like, wait, which one is this one? Wait, this one's depressed. Or this one's here. And there's another Rick here. And, and, and it just... It, it jumps you, around a lot. I don't a say lot. That. A lot. And it's like the pacing. I think if they slowed the pace down just a bit, I would probably be able to connect some stuff. But it goes so fast. It's like... This morning, this morning, this morning. Oh, no, we jump into this timeline. Oh, no, but this is happening exactly at this particular moment. And for me, I was just like, wait, well, oh, well, well what is happening yeah, here? Which is why I say you definitely have to be a Rick and Morty yeah. fan to understand it and be with it. But I think overall, most Rick and Morty fans are going to love this and they're going to they're gonna get into it. So, like I said, my review is that right now, first episode's a little confusing, especially for other fans, but I think... Overall, it's a it's a really good episode because it clicks on every exactly everything Justin said. So, um, so I'm fine with it. Wait, it's a wait and see. We got to see more episodes to uh, determine it. But well, I'll, he'll casual fans, you will wait and see. Yeah. Wait to get them more episodes. More seasoned fans of Rick and Morty definitely watch it. You're gonna enjoy it because it's a new take on Rick and Morty. You know, let us know in the comments if you're a seasoned fan. Let us know. What you think of Rick and Morty, um, the anime, and let me know, does it hold up to the actual series? Or is it something that you're kind of like, mm, well, it's all right. Well, let's see. I, like I said, I, if I were you, watch the first episode, determine right there whether you're going to go further. I think it gets better and better as it continues to go on. So we'll let you know when we get to episode two and tell you what our thoughts are. All right, and that is going to wrap up our review of Rick and Morty, the anime episode one, which is entitled The Girl Who Manipulates Tom, by the way. If you like what we do here, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That helps out the channel. If you're watching this on Tacos to Geeks, check out our sweet, sweet coverage. Check out our Hollywood Shorts coverage. Check out soon, well, soon will be Anime NYC coverage. Um, so definitely keep it locked here. Our, uh, check out our recent videos of Essential Manga, Essential Anime, Top 10, UWL, Sad Night Slam, Uprising, and Peace, Love, and Happiness. We'll catch and, you on and the next some, one. And some of the secret stuff that we can't talk about right now because we're which, at Bargo. Which <laughs> you know, will be coming on Around Horizons. Gone really, I just did three interviews, so yeah, you'll all. see that pretty soon. So we'll talk to y'all later. Later days. Peace.